any destination in the world, honey. Any. You can go to the Maldives. You can go to Paris. You can go to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You can go to South Alabama. You know where South Alabama is? You can go to Bogalusa. So we all know that for everyone that serves as a Republican president in, in, in Zambia, for, uh, once they leave office, they are entitled to so many things. They benefit so many things. But for them to continue on benefiting uh, all these things, uh, such as uh, uh, having free, free accommodation, be, uh, uh, going on uh, sponsored trips once every year, like uh, being uh, uh, given security throughout the year, you know, it for them to continue enjoying this, they need to leave politics. They need to retire from politics. And this is one thing that is not very clear. If uh, former President Eddie Galungu has officially retired from politics or indirectly is active in politics and you know all these people like I don't, you know all these people like uh, um, uh, Bowman Lusambo I mean you shouldn't be listening to all those kinds of people I mean first um, somewhere somewhere uh, uh, somewhere then uh, I had to put up a very important point that I liked so maybe let's take a look at this clip and you understand where I'm trying to to go or where I'm going with this so that you understand where I'm going with this. Do you know that a former president, for the rest of his life or her life, they get, they receive 80% of the current president's salary? 80% every single month. Number one. Number two, your medicals, your medical bills taken care of. You don't have to worry. You don't have to feel like you want something in terms of your health because it's, it's all taken care of. Thirdly, the house that you live in. Former President Lungo lives in a, in a house that the government pays for. He doesn't have to pay for anything. He doesn't. Why? Because he's the, he's the former head of state and he deserves that. Because that's, that's just how we roll as Zambians. You know, we, we take care of our former presidents. Zambia is not a country that, that throws our former presidents aside. No, no. There was a time when that was, but not anymore. This is a new dispensation. We take care of our former heads of state because that's the way it's supposed to be. And it's the right thing to do. So here it is. Your medicals are taken care of. Transportation and fuel security, honey, taken care of. You don't have to worry about a thing. Every year, once a year, you're sent on holiday. Any destination in the world, honey. Any. You can go to the Maldives. You can go to Paris. You can go to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You can go to South Alabama. You know where South Alabama is? You can go to Bogalusa. You can go to Perth, Australia. You can go to Columbus, Ohio. St. Louis, Louis, Missouri. Honey, you can go to Mazabuga. Madagascar, you can go to Haiti, you can go to the Dominican Republic. Honey, you can go to the islands of the sea. You can even go to the Seychelles. It's all up to you. The government will pay for it. That's how we roll. Now, here's the trouble with all of this, is that we are beginning to hear the bleeding of the sheep. Okay, now, if you're not a Christian and you don't have a a Bible-based background, you won't know what the H-E I'm talking about. The bleeding of the sheep, Chinese whispers. People talking in the periphery. When we begin to hear the bleeding of the sheep, the Old Testament calls it the bleeding of the sheep. Not bleeding, mulopa, bleating, the sound of the sheep, ukulira. We're beginning to hear that President Lungu, former President Lungu, is hinting or he's being influenced into thinking that he can come back. Now, here's, here's the problem I have with that. When you've served seven years, you've served the people of Zambia for seven years. And on top of that, you had no idea that you would become president, but you served. The, the, the Zambian people gave you two, 
two opportunities, two separate opportunities where you were sworn in twice. You have reached a stage in your life that many of us wish to be in, in terms of age. God has blessed you with longevity. And then here it is, you've got everything on a silver plate. Not that you don't deserve it, you do deserve it, because you worked for it. And the Zambian people gave you that opportunity to, 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 to serve. Why would you want to throw all that away simply because people like Nagachinda, people like Given uh, Luwinda, uh, people like Bowman, for goodness sake. Bowman. We got Bowman on the, on, on, on the fringes of this. You're listening to these. Not that Valuinda is a despot, okay? Valuinda is a when I say despot. But Nakachinda and Bowman are not going to as despots. Valuinda is a despot. Because I happen to like Mr. Lavinda. I think he's a good guy. Okay? But why would you listen to these bottom feeders when you have served? I'll tell you why. Because the people around the former president are not thinking about him. They are thinking about themselves. Oh, honey, that's what it is right there. Kapalifimbiyo. It's got nothing to do with the Zambian people missing the former head of state. Heck, Americans miss Obama. But nobody's saying to Obama, Obama, we miss you so much, we want you to come back. What the heck is all that about? Your time has passed. In the words of Beyonce, who just won 32 Grammys, for goodness sake, to the left, to the left, to the left, you've done your part. Step aside, step aside, step aside. Let somebody else take over. Because that's the way we roll. Here it is. You are listening to these despots. Listen, and you've got a, 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 a registered sex offender in the name of Chilofiate Ali, who's giving the former head of state tips. What kind of world are we living in? Guys, what is this? And, and I blame you. I blame you, Mr. 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 Lungo, Mr. P Mr. Former President. I blame you, sir. How how in the world are you going to allow a bottom feeder, as a registered sex offender like Chilufiatali, to to get anywhere close to you? Why would you do that? W why is that? I'm trying to wrap my brain around that concept. And I'll tell you, sir, it's, I'm not getting it. It's not, you know, it's not gelling. And so Edgar, Edgar Lungu has run his race, okay? People should let him rest. Right now, like I've always said, I am nonpartisan. Right now, it is HH's turn. Let, let's let HH do his thing. Then uh, we can now... Uh, move on to the next person, whoever is going to take from over from HH. But for Edgar Lungu, he has run his race. We should not even expect him to come back. If anything, if you want to talk about uh, Edgar Lungu, if you really love Edgar Lungu, then let's talk about uh, his achievements. Let's talk about his legacy, all the great things he did for the country while he was in office. We can talk about that. But as for the matter of him coming back, uh, taking over power, I don't think it's it's going to work. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying um, the PF will never bounce back. I'm just trying to say that even if the PF were to bounce back, it's not Eddie Galung that is going to be president. Probably it's going to be someone else. Or maybe even if PF doesn't come back, it's probably somebody else that is going to take over power. Definitely not Lungu. And let's just uh, 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 praise him for all the thing, good things he did. Of course, he was not perfect, but let's not overlook all the good things he did and just talk about maybe all those things like at the rhythm and all that he did a good job for the country and guys thank you for watching until the end uh don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video